from La Landa, everybody, where I'm going for a lovely walk on a beautiful day into the woods. And Dan is doing something, I think, quite vloggable in the background. I don't know if you can see him up a ladder there. If you wait a sec, I can come and help you. I just need to film this video first and then I'll come. Okay. It looks as though Dan is struggling with a two-person job there, so I'll run and help him after this. But first, I wanted to film this short announcement for all of you because, as you know, I've never spoken about my love life on the Chateau Diaries. I've only spoken about the past, people that I dated decades ago. They're my friends, you know them, and I talk about that, but I've never spoken about my love life in the present. And that's because I share so much of my life, my home, my travels, my family, my friends. I must keep something, some kernel in it all for myself. But my desire to keep everything private has changed recently because, unbeknownst to me, Channel 4 announced to the whole of the UK in the Chateau DIY show that I'm in that Philip is my boyfriend. I know this is something that a lot of you have speculated about before. Uh, many people believe that it couldn't be true. Obviously, there's a very, very big age difference, and that's also made me nervous about speaking about it because I think that women being older in a relationship is still considered extremely unusual. And if there's something that I believe in and I think comes across, every day in the Chateau Diaries, is that we must seize happiness when we can. And from the moment I met Philip, even before we got together, he's made me very happy. I found a friend that I had many, many shared interests in common with. But more importantly than that, he is one of the kindest people that I've ever met. And to me, that's the most important characteristic in a man beyond anything else. We know each other's families, they're very happy for us, mummy is happy, and you know, that takes a lot to make mummy happy. Also, a huge shout out to my patrons, because I made a video for them the moment it leaked on British TV to tell them what was happening, and I just received so much helpful advice and kindness. It's been overwhelming. Now that it's out in the open, the best thing to do is to address it with everybody, and move on. I won't lie, it's been very hard for me. It's been really scary to talk about it when the Chateau Diaries is so important to me and this has never been part of them. So it's scary to talk about it publicly. Now I'm going to go back to making the Chateau Diaries as usual. Nothing is going to change there. It is not suddenly going to become about my private life. Not at all. It's all the same as before. But first, I think I'd better go and see if Dan needs any help. Right, Dan. I mean, I'd come and help you, but I'm just a little bit distracted about what is going on on your face. Mm. So, uh, is this a new look? I mean, it's... It's a new look. It's a bit of 70s. It is very 70s porn tash, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's because we're doing this Movember thing. Oh, you mean you didn't Am just decide Marie. to go for a 70s porn No, porn no, tash. no. <laughs> so, yeah. I do keep forgetting that I've got it on my face. And now I realise I have no chin either. Now I've shaved it all off. So that's, that's a new relevate. None of that revelation to me. I'm loving every moment mm, of this. I bet you are, yeah. I am. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say that this is totally making my day. Uh, can I help you? I've done it. What? Whilst I was no. chatting to everyone. Okay, well, I think that we should show everyone your other half where is he mm, uh he's in the kitchen all I right think. let's go find him what a look what a look cuz the two of you together now that is something would you like to tell everybody why you've done this or is it just i don't know you're starting a new show well no i, I thought i wanted to shave dan just wanted to shave him and did he? Mm. Or he did a little bit, yeah. He did, okay. Yeah. Well, that I'm sure was a beautiful moment, mm -hmm. and I, I wish I'd seen it. He lathered me up and everything. I did. In slow mo, yeah. So, we're doing this <laughs> <laughs> for Movember, which I think may be mainly a UK thing, but it's basically to support men's health. So, we have to have these ridiculous facial hair, it's which actually you quite like, to be fair. I did quite, I'm so that's quite I'm embarrassing. This. I'm, enjoying um, I'm enjoying it immensely. Yeah. 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 So we've got to have this all month and trying to raise money for that. Okay, can I put a link to your charity? Yeah. Okay, so check out the description below because I will be linking to the charity that Dan and Amory are supporting by inflicting this on us for the rest of the month. 
That just feels nice. I feel like you need a group yeah, name yours. now. Mm. Is it is oh, it soft? It's pretty soft. Is it? Yeah. I might get some beard oil. Yeah, we should. We should get some beard oil. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Well, on that note, I will leave you all. It's a bit of a relief that Philip's not here at the moment. He's in the Netherlands for rehearsals, uh, which you'll see next week. So I'm a week ahead on the Chateau Diary so that I can prepare for Advent, which hopefully means that his facial hair will remain unmolested. Now it's time for a cup of tea and I'll see you all in the next live chat.